all right what is going on everybody uh we're back at it again today we've got a little bit of a group ride there's only three of us that could make it out so this is what we're up to today just uh hitting some bridges having a good time and once again enjoying this beautiful weather while we still can up here so Today we are with the Buell Lightning XB12R and the Yamaha R1 again. Don't have a, an actual cruiser in the group today. Uh, we were supposed to, but unfortunately he couldn't make it. So, man, would you look at this view? Just absolutely phenomenal. What we're going over is called the Rip Van Winkle Bridge. So that's that's the name of this. If you Google it, uh, we're down in, uh, I don't, not even 100% where this is, really don't even know. But well, we're uh, going to hit some of those mountains in the background. So that's what we are up to today. Uh, I figured I'd at least get a shot of coming over the bridge, just because it looks kind of cool. So. so that's what's going on, that's what we are up to today. I like the color. Ooh, nice color on that BMW. Yep, so anyways, that's what we're doing today. And I'm probably gonna, once again, oh, I'm gonna say this now while I'm thinking about it. This is going to be multiple parts again, like the last one I did, just cause I'm gonna have so much footage. Uh, I'm, I'm not great at editing. I do apologize for that. I, I just, I'm not sure what to cut, what not to. I'm working on it. So this will be broken up into multiple parts once again and hope everybody enjoys the video and we'll be back. Hey, we are now headed up the mountain and I actually started recording again because off to the right here there's going to be an awesome view coming up over here. I am slacking with these guys. notice some of the trees are actually starting to change colors Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it too well I might try to hit that on the way back if we come back this way uh, but there is a gorgeous view down into the valley yeah so some of the trees are starting to change colors it is going to be that time of year uh, we had our first night down in the, the 40s so so that kind of really sets it all off and get some real nice colors happening in the next couple weeks so so we'll definitely be doing another video of when that happens not sure where we're going for that one I, I have an idea but That might not, uh, yeah, that might not happen. Ooh, it's a Rivian. Electric truck, oh, there we go. I don't know if it really picked it up, but quick look down into the valley. Yeah, I wonder, so with that guy flashing, I wonder if fucking, there's usually a trooper that'll sit up here. Yep, as you can see, we are getting up there. There's, it's just, it, it's such a gorgeous view. Like I said, I'll try to get on the way back. Um, if we come this way, I don't know what way I'm going. I don't know what way they're going, but. Yeah, they'll actually sit right up here. There's a couple like pull offs like this. And they'll, they'll uh, hide out right there. But, oh yeah, we actually got. Now that I'm up close to them, as you can see, we got trees are turning. And right in the mountains. It's actually it's noticeably cooler up here than it was down at the bottom. 
say uh, probably in the neighborhood of six to seven degrees difference between down there and up here that's that's one of the things that happens when you get in the mountains especially like this time of year it's uh it's amazing the the temperature difference that you get Catskill Park. So I think we're going to get some more twisties and I'll be back with that, hopefully. Alright, I figured out uh bring you back for this. This is, we are coming into the town of Wyndham. Uh, if you look up at the mountain up there, uh, it's probably not a good view, and you probably can't see it. Uh, this is a ski town, so during the winter it gets super busy. That is a nice... No, oh, no, it's not. That thing's a rusty piece of crap. But I like it because I like those old Wagoneers. Those things are awesome. My friend's dad had one growing up as a kid. It was sweet. But anyways, so there we go. That might be a good shot of the ski slopes on the mountain and th this is the town it's, it's a small little town i think I, again i've never been through here and this is a ski town so during the summer and stuff i don't think it's too busy i mean it, like it's main street there's restaurants and stuff everywhere actually you know what i have been down here i went to a, eat at a place back there or no it was actually right there i think the tap house don't know it was really good there's a lot of like German and Polish food around here. So if you like that kind of thing, it's fantastic. Oh yeah, this is a small little town because I think we're coming out of it. But it's an older town. It's been here for a while. I don't know what year it was actually established, but you know, don't know everything. Of course, because every town's got to have a Chinese restaurant. And the looks she was giving me, probably because I have a camera on my helmet. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad place to live. That house up on the hill right there. Have an awesome view, that's for sure. In the winter, that, you know, I'm sure that's going to be a different story. But Because again, like I said, the ski town, oh, that's going to be the driveway to it. Yeah, that's going to suck in the winter. I'm sure they'll pave it though. Ooh, speaking of paving, one of my favorite things ever. New blacktop. It's just so nice. It makes it so nice to ride on. So yeah, that, there, there's a oh, there, there's a nice little creek stream down here. So I guess it kind of made it worth it. Hey, Ooh, that was horrible downshift. And it looks like we're stopping, so we'll be back. I don't know if it's still recording, but that, that is a nice Rolls Royce right there. Check that out. Thing is sweet. All right, here we go. Let's try check out this parking job here. Uh, yep, I was gonna botch that. <laughs> 